so it's no secret we have some uh, stability problems around here. Hey, I'm talking about the WAN Show streaming computer. What are you implying? Anyway, it's Friday, which means, of course, that today is the perfect day to follow through on my commitment to Corsair. They called me up. They were like, we love the WAN Show. We think it's the greatest show, the best except that it has a few small problems. The audio sucks, the video cuts out, and the system is unstable. What are you gonna do about it? They said, look, we will sponsor you to fix the WAN show. So today we are rebuilding the WAN show PC. We are redoing the streaming setup, and it is all courtesy of our friends at Corsair. The WAN show, now with 300% more RGB. So the first step in any disassembly project, and my parents would do well to remember this, is to take pictures of everything involved so you have something to refer back to when it's time to put it all back together. Though with all the cables that straight up weren't even connected to anything from troubleshooting stream issues over the last couple of years, I'm not even sure how helpful they'll be. Some of the old WAN PC's hardware will be reused. The X99 Deluxe motherboard and 6-core 5930K CPU got a dust off because they were already added a couple of months back to address stability, performance, and resource allocation issues. But pretty much everything else is gonna go. We've got 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED RAM in white, an NVMe SP500 SSD, a tempered glass case with RGB lighting. I mean, come on, it's 2017. What else was I gonna use? An RM1000X power supply, even more RGB. Now with the fans, Corsair sent us extra for the AIO water cooler and the rear slot, and some orange sleeved cables to manage, along with all the other cables. Man, cable management is tough in an all glass case. And I don't make matters easier for myself when I put stuff in in the wrong order. The good news is that the finished product, IMO, is totally worth the effort. This thing looks badass. Next up, it's time to tear the rest of the stuff on the desk apart for some good old fashioned cable management. There is a lot of wasted space here and holy crap is this table ever dirty. I don't think it's been cleaned since we moved. And neither have the multiple bins under the desk that make up what I call the streaming gear graveyard. In here you'll find everything that stopped working for us at some point or another. Reassembly time now. I'm gonna put all the wicked stuff that Focusrite hooked us up with into the retro server cabinet I made a video about here. These guys are awesome. They flew all the way out here to not just set us up with gear, but to actually set it up with us. It starts with a solid new microphone, an SE4400A on a road arm. It's got a handful of pickup patterns, including cardioid and super cardioid. It sounds awesome, but could be improved by some acoustic baffles in front of the table. Stay tuned. Our Soundcraft mixer mainly serves as, well, a mixing board. So the main feature is just lots of places to plug stuff in. This allows us to use hardware rather than software to adjust audio levels, EQ controls, and to send auxiliary outputs with a different mix. Our DBX166 XS compressor is back. We actually bought this ages ago because theoretically it would make it so Luke doesn't sound so quiet all the time and I'm not clipping when I'm ranting. Unfortunately, we derped and didn't have a preamp for it. That's why it never worked which is exactly where Focusrite's own 18i20 comes in. We could use it to accept up to 20 inputs with an optical expander. We could do our headphone monitoring off of it instead of the dedicated headphone amp that Focusrite set us up with as well. But we're just concerned with the quality of the audio capture in this case, and Focusrite's claim to fame is their awesome preamps. 
Is it overkill? Yes. And so is the 6i6 that we're using purely as a digital input for an additional laptop on the table. But hey, come on, this is Linus Tech Tips. We're also going to use it to monitor audio levels to ensure that no other parts of the audio chain need to be adjusted in the event that we change our microphone pickup pattern, placement, or even our microphone altogether. So next up is moving the computer into place and upgrading the peripherals. Okay, arguably the peripherals are a bit of a side grade, but going from a full size to a 10 keyless keyboard gives me a lot of extra space for laptops and stuff. Loving it so far. Time then for some cable management. This doodad from the Manly Guide to Cable Management is awesome, and so are the 3D printed Velcro tie anchors that Jake whipped up on our Ultimaker 2. Another big improvement is that now both of our hosts get HDMI cables for their laptops. We're running these and our camera into new capture cards from Epifan. I can't say enough good things about these. We've actually been using them for a couple months for the WAN show as well, and for screen capture around the office. And they're responsible for some very significant improvements in our production values. They just make it so easy to capture at any resolution without tinkering. And did I mention they're Canadian? Flippin' awesome. The capture cards are USB, so we needed to add another USB card to the system to avoid resource conflicts with three of them attached, but once we figured that out, it was smooth sailing, and I really have nothing else to say about them. Time to power things up then. I asked CableMod for five power cables, some combination of orange, black, and carbon. They sent five each of multiple styles of sleeving of each color. Holy crap, you guys. Anyway, at least they look great once they're in place. And I will put the giant box of power cables that I have left over in a corner somewhere. So, time to hook back up and power up the audio gear and take you guys now on a grand tour of the finished setup. Hallelujah. The WAN show computer is on. We are ready to tour the finished WAN show set. So, improvement number one to make it so the WAN show is more likely to be on time. These TP Link um, Wi Fi smart plug things. Basically, we just use an app when this phone is dead, but don't worry about it, there's an app. We use an app, press a button, and boom, WAN show lighting turns on. Improvement number two. We won't trip over this while we're running around getting ready for WAN show. Improvement number three, dramatically better cable management. Now, instead of having the entire desk full of the gear that we need to run WAN show, it'll just be full of the gear that we need to host WAN show. So we'll have our streaming computer, our laptops. We've got HDMI cables for our laptops. We've got, uh, oh yes, all of the audio gear off the table, replaced by a power distribution hub thing here, which is awesome. All our audio gear is in this badass retro server cabinet thing. And our WAN PC is of course heavily upgraded to be much more reliable and much sexier all at the same time. So, I guess I better get this show on the road then, shall I? So thanks for watching guys, dislike or like, get subscribed, check out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. And also down there, you can check out our, uh, what is it? Yes, our community forum and our merch store. Now that you're done doing that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So check out our latest video over on Channel Super Fun.